Welcome back to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. Yeah, no one shared this one with us. Well, Normally that's our what patrons. we say. Yeah, our patrons. That's we'll chalk this one up to our to our patrons. Uh, we did buy this bottle. We got it from sealbox.com. It was $150. This is, um, you had to put this in the celebrity category, even though Jim Gaffigan, who is behind this bottle, doesn't really consider himself a celebrity, which is funny, but he's a comedian. But he's so. a public figure. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's a celebrity. Yeah, so we'll get it poured up here. Oh no. That won't do. Take two. Oh, that's something. Okay. Well, that means nothing, but it's yeah. fine. 92.4 proof, a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Apparently he had the opportunity, was approached by other brands about partnering with them to do a celebrity whiskey with them, but he really wanted to put his name on something that he chose, that he had full control over, so that if it failed, it was all on him. But if it succeeded, it's also all on him. So he hand-selected right. everything that is father time. Yeah, he has a friend that lives in Louisville, so he contacted him, and you know, I guess because he lives in Louisville, he knows bourbon. Most Kentuckians know a little mm, something about little bourbon, something. I don't know. Uh, and, and the rest is history. Yeah, I think uh, initially he was approached just for spirits in general, not oh, even just really spirits. just whiskey, and, and he was like, nah. He was like, hmm. So it is good to know that he has personally tasted uh, all the barrels and selected the ones that went into this, so mm -hmm. that is nice. And if you don't like it, you can just call him up and tell him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is actually a line. Uh, is there, there really? Mm -hmm. Yep, right here. Text us and tell us what you think. 646-980-6600. Wow. Uh, but only do that if you've had it. Right, don't don't spam them. <laughs> They're actually trying to garner, you know, knowledge from that. Right. So is this gonna fall into the normal celebrity whiskey trap? Or, you know, did we did we just blow $150 of our money or um mm -hmm. If it wasn't for our celebrity whiskey project, it's not how I would have allocated That's funds. That's right, we are trying to get them all to but do the huge blind ranking. Without tasting it, it's not how I would have decided to spend sure. the money. But you know, that's why we're a channel. It is a pretty nice nose though. It's got something so familiar on it, and mm -hmm. I can't tell exactly what it is. Like, I definitely know, I mean, it's sourced, right? It so is sourced. It's something that we've had, obviously. Mm -hmm. Some Kentucky distillery, right? Yeah. There is a gentle spice there. It's not overwhelming, but there is a um, sort of a maybe black pepper type of spice there on top. There's an orangey kind of note mm -hmm. and a little yeah. bit of nuttiness, but like in an earthy way. I'm like, could this be like beam sourced OGD? Mm. Nashville maybe, or Heaven Hill? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It could be Heaven Hill, I guess. We're not here to guess. We're here well. to taste. So, to your health. Oh, a little bit of a roller coaster there. Okay, so there was sort of a, a, a little rush of heat there. Then it went kind of barrel. Then kind of citrus. Yeah, it's got some citrus in and there. And now sort sure. of back to barrel. barrel yeah, a little citrus. bit of roller roller coaster right there. A little bit of like bitter oak char. Hmm. Citrus, deep dark sugars, a brown sugar kind of thing going on. Yeah, mm. and I know you've already taken your second sip. I have. I haven't yet, and I do have to say, especially for a lower proof, you know, 92 and some change, it's got uh, a, a pretty long finish. Yeah, I think that oak and that like heavy char note really contributes to that finish along with like, that hint of orange, I think, mm -hmm. stays with it. Staying mm. more on the palate than it is in the chest, but maybe after the second sip, It'll uh, start traveling down to the chest. But before we go to that, well, before I go to that second sip, Sarah goes for a third one, hit pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirt that I'm wearing and hat. Uh, the Glen Cairns we're both drinking from, bottle cut candles, our elemental, lock, uh, elemental elixir cocktail syrup, it's hard to say sometimes, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And as we said, we have to thank our patrons for being able to get this bottle of bourbon. But in return, they get first access to our barrel picks, events, uh, another round with us, and more. There you go. Should we let it sit? Let's let, let's it, let it sit. Let's let it sit. We'll be back in about 10 minutes. We're gonna go read a book, I don't know. And we're back. Thanks for waiting around. Let this sit here. I'm going in for my official second sip. I'm getting even more orange and like burnt sugar and oak on the nose now. Yeah, the nose has gotten a little darker. I will say there is a pretty good amount of oak Mm. on this. And on that second sip on the palate, I'm getting more of the oak. The the brightness of the citrus sort of happened a little bit earlier. It, it is familiar, yet 
different, different. enough. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering like what's the oldest stuff in here because that oak is really punching through, but it's mm -hmm. non-age dated, so we'll never know. We know at least it's older than four years. Yeah, I think that's where I get hung up on with this. Like what's in the glass, what's in the bottle is good enough. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's solid stuff. It's pretty classic. Uh, I like the flavors. At 92.4 proof for this price point, it kind of needs to be like exceptional and blow you away. I understand that it has a celebrity slash not celebrity. And sourcing and tax, tax is what we call it. But 150 for 92.4 proof. And non-age stated. And non-age stated. I just don't see a lot of people going for this unless they're super fans. Like there's sure. so many other things out there in that yeah. 100 to $150 price range that are gonna either bring higher proof or more LE or I don't know. Or more transparency. More transparency. At, at That's, least. Mm -hmm, at yeah. least that. The, the distillery, the, uh, the, I mean, if it is multiple barrels or ages, mm. you know, at least the age range. Right. Uh, I mean, even like thing. Bart's Hump Bourbon Company with their Discovery Series, yes, it's sourced. Yes, it's in the same price range, but they put the breakdown right there on the label of where it's coming from and how old. Mash bill, ages, everything. And then a yeah. lot of their stuff too. That's Not the true. Discovery Series, but it's finished. So you can mm -hmm. understand where those additional costs are coming in. This feels a little bit like it's behind a curtain and I can't quite see why this is that much. I don't know. Agreed. I mean, it does have his signature uh, down here on the bottle that was hand signed. All of That's the nice. first edition bottles got that treatment. And if you're a super fan and a collector, I think that this would be for you for that reason. But mm -hmm. also if you decide to open it, it, it tastes good. Yeah, I, I do think it's overpriced uh, even for a celebrity whiskey, but what's in the bottle is good. Mm -hmm. I'll say that. It just needs to be maybe about half that price. Yeah or double as good for that price. Great, <laughs> yeah, yeah, either, either, anyway, either you way you wanna slice it. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's where we better leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon.